Pull we're on the slaps di- first. We're on director's cut yet. now. No, actually, we are live, <laughs> but like, yo, no, 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 <laughs> Listen, she's just hitting me because I'm, she hit me because I'm messing with her while she's playing the game. Does it involve jiggling and waves, something like that? Yeah. Right. Right. No jiggling, no waving. All right, no hey, hey, I need somebody to monitor the chat today. <laughs> I got it already. All right, cool, cool. All right, so we're already live and 30 minutes late, which is like my fault for not taking into account. Because you're old. Tukuma, you know, uh, 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 all right, <laughs> he's, he's being a, a freaking jerk. All right, so that that's all right. I'm, I'm not, I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. All right, so we are on this. All right, so we're gonna start the podcast in three, two, one. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> What's going on, new game <laughs> order? <laughs> Can I get this intro started? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo, what's going on, new game in order fam? This is Alex Lexus hitting me with the Juggernaut Punch. And we have a full stack staff today. We have guest free play mode. Uh, K Simi, always a pleasure to have you. We have NYC Playboy, Shin Raven, Shin Takuma, and last but not least, uh, Nelson Del Rio. But Who is with... currently getting choked out by his girlfriend. Look, new game in order, audience and full screen. Um, we don't condone violence on the show. Um, we're just well, we gonna. Don't talk next. <clears throat> Unless it's sexual. What, it, what, what the heck is he talking about? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> but uh, as as I'm getting everything uh, set up, uh, Demizo, opening remarks, my friend. Sorry for that laugh, but it's something that uh, Playboy posted in the uh, Discord chat, and that shit was funny as fuck. (laughs) Okay, well, I want to laugh too. What what, what happened? We'll go over to the Discord chat and check it out. Well, if I do, it's going to show up on the stream, so I got to... It's not perverted. They should laugh too, then. (laughs) It's just a guy getting choked. With a belt. Choke with a belt? Hold on, what the hell? Alright, let me see this. Stop the intro, stop the intro! No, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Start. Wait, 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 intro. who's getting slapped? What? Yo, I'm done. Hold on. <laughs> wait That's a minute. That's Nelson, man. That's Nelson. Jiggling and slapping and wait jiggling a, and stuff. Wait stopping. a minute, wait a minute. Hold what, on. What this, uh, what this, uh, female friend over there. Oh. Hold on. Really? Really? Boondocks? Really? Yeah, man. Oh Look at that gosh. chickle, though, man. Come on, man. Damn. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know, New Game in Order, this is our staff. That's... <laughs> No, no comment. No comment. Man, he smacked her hard, too. Damn. Oh, my gosh. Alright, sorry about that. This is supposed to be for... This is an adult rated show, fuck that. But, the yeah. Demizzle, the, the, the <laughs> opening remarks. What's going on, man? Uh, everything's all good, brother. Just uh, been playing Street Fighter and Killer Instinct and The Division. <sighs> Too many games, man. I think I'm done buying games until uh, the fall. Once I buy Doom, that'll be my Blast last man. game until the fall. <laughs> Okay, cool, cool, cool. K Simi, what's going on, man? Uh, what, what what you got in your crib? Shout out to Michael Hurdle. I love that catchphrase. Oh, also, New Gaming Order, I am actually putting on uh, the Free Play Mode's Facebook page in the stream. So make sure you go and follow. Uh, once he gets new followers, uh, we kind of share information. So if you sub, sub, if you're a New Gaming Order fan and you sub to Free Play Mode, I'll get notification for it, and it, it's good to share our community. So make sure you check it out. It's in the background right now. We got some videos of the division. Friday Night Fights is on there. A couple other things. So make sure you check that out. But Kasimi, sorry about that. Go ahead, man. Ain't nothing, man. I've been um, on this Neo, dog. I don't know if y'all know that the, uh, the Neo demo came out for uh, PlayStation. Oh That's yeah, all really? All I've been on. Okay, we're oh, gonna talk about that today. We're gonna talk about that today. Good stuff. Good stuff. But other than that, what you been playing? 
That's it, bro. <laughs> that shit then took over, bro. Oh wow. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, NYC Playboy, the 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 Mr. Wisdom, the uh, Moses's battle buddy up in the. In you the, know what? You know, rubbing elbows. <laughs> You know, uh, Noah, now, now Noah on the Ark, he helped him build it. What's going on, man? You, 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 you <laughs> know the fuck what Alex said. <laughs> hey, no, you've been Alex getting on me on Facebook, I, I, Instagram. Hey, yes, I have. Cause yeah, yeah, and, and I'm gonna afterwards. I'm gonna talk to you about that car, man. All right, but, cool. Uh, um, it's good to finally be back after being incognito for weeks, man. Damn. Damn. Feel, so it's just like you know, family, man. We're getting together. Wilding out, acting up, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad to see that we're all here, all alive, everyone's doing well, we're just laughing and chilling and clowning on each other. Last night was fun, Friday yeah. Night Fights was fun. Yeah, that was um, excellent. Like, yeah, yes it was. And I, I, I still want us to uh, all get together um, this summer, probably in June, in New York City, somewhere. Yes, just I'm to, down. Just have, a, have an NGO um, hangout, and also Alex, check your uh, PayPal. Okay, we'll do. We'll do. All right, and to our six uh, viewers right now, thank y'all for checking <coughs> things out. I got the chat on my phone, so I forgot all about that. But with that, let's move down the uh, totem pole. Uh, Shin Raven, what's going on, man? How come you? Oh, you at work? What's you good? Can, what's you, good? You can play Friday Night Fights yeah. with us. But did you get to see know, the the post stream? You see the new setup and everything? Uh, no. Nah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I was watching that a bit. That was pretty cool. All right, it, it's like still working. Layout. It's a work the in progress. The only thing is that, like, <laughs> you, you, you saw my uh, comments already about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, everything's constructive. I'm working on it. But yes. All right, all right. What, what you been playing, man? Me? Just uh, Dark Souls three, Street Fighter five. Got that guile hype going. Yeah. That's cool. pretty much it. All right, cool, cool. Fang back from uh, Pax. Alright, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, cool. <laughs> you gotta tell us a little bit about your trip, um, you know, towards the end of the show. Alright, so with sure, that, good. Uh, Shin Takuma, Tuk what's going on, man? What, what you got what for us? What's up, people? What's up, family? What's up, pickles? Is everything kosher? You see, that, 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 that's what happens when you got a waffle brother up in here sounding like John Legend. Get on with the intro, sucker. What's the deal, pickles? Is everything kosher? No, nah, what's going on, y'all? Pickles! Um, <laughs> nothing much. Um, they're, they're on my grind, pretty much. Getting ready to start my new job. Hey, man. Get out for that. Yeah, awesome. 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 <clears throat> Still in school. Get ready to take my Network Plus exam again and all the security and everything else and whatnot so I get bigger jobs. All right, um, yes. Still been playing Ace Combat uh, Infinity. Um... Um, it's in the market for PS4. Other than that, no, I think I think each other. Well, when the Neo comes out, I might sell you mine. <clears throat> I don't know because I've been hearing things about that. I'm like, should I buy wait for the Neo or buy the PS4? And I don't know. So. See, Sony done tripped themselves up, man, on the dance floor. They were doing so good, but hey. Kissimmee last week really went in on them, and then rightfully so. Yeah, last week is like, you know, like but man, so. we'll we'll just leave it at that. Last but not least, Nelson Del Rio, what's going on, man? What's up, man? Um, just here, just uh, supporting the page. Uh, I see everyone's been saying what games they've been playing. I've been actually training for Evo. I've been playing Killer Instinct and Street Fighter Five, getting mm -hmm. ready for that nice five-day uh, trip out to Vegas. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so with that, we are gonna start our first topic. Matter of fact, I'm gonna save that Shinobi thing for the end. I actually wanted to talk about that Iron Man Xbox. Uh, so let's take a look at that new gaming order. <coughs> I was just like blown the hell away. I was like, what? Okay. So here's my thing. I don't know. What the heck? Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it on the stream. But man, what the heck? That thing looks freaking awesome. I, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Apparently, it's only available in France or in Europe for like a giveaway. Now, I don't, I, I don't have much uh, information on it right now, but dog, if you guys are seeing that, you have to admit that thing looks sexy as hell. You know, they're probably one of the cooler system mods, but the only gripe I have with it, the controller doesn't have the Elite um, 3 
um, 0.5 millimeter jack in there so I guess that while this was planned they probably didn't take into account that you would have an updated controller for you know scuffs and things like that but I wanted to get Demizel's thoughts on that system uh, what do you think uh, Dave well I think it looks great I'm never one for like uh, special edition systems because usually all it is is just a new color variation decal, of the system yeah. yeah or a decal like they just slapped on there like yeah. this this looks like they went all out they got the, <coughs> the arc reactor in there they went balls it, deep it's like oh hold up wait they, they went deep inside oh nuts my hanging goodness out. oh shit <laughs> <laughs> Bro. No, but seriously though, they uh they did good, man. They got the fully functioning arc reactor. The, it sticks up from the console itself. It mm -hmm. lights up, even with the controller uh, with the Xbox button. Mm -hmm. It looks like a mini arc reactor. So they did a really really good job with it. And while I'm not one for advocating for buying multiple variations of the same console if you already own it, if you're a collector, I would definitely definitely recommend getting this <laughs> man i when i saw that i was just blown away bro they really went to town with that system oh my gosh you know and especially since some um, xbox ones are region free you don't have to worry about not being being able to play your games on it so i don't see why you wouldn't get this <laughs> now let, let's say i'm worried about what the price point could be for it number one and then number two if it's a limited edition thing hmm but it remains to be seen but from what i'm trying to look at on uh, google uh, is that a cover or like how did they do that also it looks like a redesign with the fans because if you know with the stock xbox one the fan is on the right side the top right side right now you have the two vents in the front so did they redo something in there i don't know like what are your thoughts do as well uh, I think they uh, moved some things around so they could get the arc reactor working. Uh, they moved the fan around. It's not that hard to do. Okay. It's still because if you open the open the uh, Xbox One, the fan's pretty fucking big. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Interesting. So with that, Khalif, what are your thoughts on this uh, Xbox One Iron Man Edition system? Should it have been red and gold? Um, I mean, it's dope. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, don't, I mean, uh, anybody that doesn't think it's dope is fucking lie, I guess. Yeah, I, I should I, lie, but um, of course, I would not. As soon as I saw it, I was like, there's no way that regular Joes are gonna do this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely something that, you know, I, I would say would cost probably doubled in the system. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know how much they're selling it for. I didn't know they France. Yeah, I didn't know they were gonna do it either, but. Uh, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't imagine that this would be something like we would see in the U.S. at all. Like you would probably pay a pretty penny. So, yeah, I mean, that's just like that. Um, then they have a. Uh, they had a lot of different consoles. The Xbox is really good. Well, Microsoft is really good with that. They yeah. have a lot of different like special edition consoles that we will never see. Yeah. Um, but that's just a problem. We'll never see it. So I mean, it's dope, but you know, shame that nobody will ever really get to have. One. Yeah. Well, I would say this uh, to add on to what you said. Yeah, it, it's going to be like a collector's item, it looks like. We don't have much info on it. And the fact that they dropped it in such a way that no one knew. No one knew. And then Avengers or well, Captain America 3 comes out next week. You know, it's just like, home. Oh, what a way to celebrate it. Now, my, my thing is, well, do you think Sony will follow suit? And do something similar because their Metal Gear Solid uh, Ground um, uh, Phantom Pain console was great, you know, and I think that was one reason why it sold so well on the PS4 because it's like, look, they were the ones with an exclusive style console. Uh, yeah, that was only uh, Japan. Like nobody in the U.S. was able to get their hands on that. Yeah, so, but all play all Asia. That was, play Asia. It was just a reskin. It wasn't eBay, like my brother. eBay. It was just a reskin. It wasn't like they did anything to the console from a, a like. They never not, do though. Like I mean, they any, didn't any, like any, add any. Never been a PlayStation that's done anything like Xbox. Xbox always knocks out of the park with their consoles. Like we we discussed that before. Like yeah. PlayStation's always been 
like some type of reskin, not even just PlayStation 4, it's PlayStation 3s, PlayStation 2s, mm -hmm. regular PS1s. They've never been anything more than like a different color. They never made different sounds. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, I don't expect that from Sony at all. Why would, why would they? They're still going to sell. Yeah. But I, I, I am just like, you know, watering at the mouth for this thing. This looks amazing. And, uh, you know, Demizel made a good point. I never really got the special edition consoles like ever except for my 360 gears of war console that's red i gave my black one to my sister right so i'm like all right if i'm gonna get one let me let me try it you know but with that being said uh i, I might have to cop this one man i might have to cop this one but i mean if you could get one Kasimi, would you uh me personally nah i don't play the xbox i got so i wouldn't I would okay. buy it just for that. But if if it, if it were an Xbox, you know that I you know if I didn't have an Xbox, then yes, of course. But okay, it's like uh, like even even when the new PS4s and shit come out, I'm not excited about buying another one. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I day one yeah. PS4 and it works perfectly fine. So I'm not really into buying new consoles just because they're reskin. Yeah, I got you. Different. Yeah, you know what? They this a good selling point for this would hopefully be a solid state drive. And, and extra storage because you know I'm about to run out of space on my two terabyte right now. I'm like, what the hell? But you know, with that being said, Playboy, moving on. I know you're a PC master race, but just what are your thoughts on the the look of this system? It, it, you have to admit that's pretty clever it's, what they did. It's, it's it's gorgeous. It is. It, it is. It is gorgeous. It really is. So I, I never. <laughs> never seen nothing like that before and, and you know call it marketing call it whatever but that that's nice that's nice you know what they need to release yeah. this to the general public yeah i'm gonna read it microsoft only released three of them so there's only three in the world so oh, according man. to the french website um um game uh game gamestop the no it's, it's the french variation of gamestop website so mm -hmm. microsoft only released three of them so I'm I'm reading I'm reading about it right now. So, yeah, <laughs> wait wait wait. Why would they Why would they even like tease us with that? And they then, do that all the time, bro. I, the first time. They, oh, they need to stop that, man. You know hey, what? Bro, matter of fact, I remember they didn't do this with a console, but I do remember when Star Wars was like being hyped up. They had all the different Star Wars uh, controllers. Do you remember that? And they had the Darth Vader screen. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they, they they they've done things like this before. Where they'll show it off and tease it, but nobody's ever gonna get their like hands on this shit. But man, come on, that, bro, they they can't do that to us. You know what I mean? It's like they do it all the time. That that's that's a tough pill to swallow, bro. Only three of them made. Ugh. Only three of them made in the world. All right, Microsoft. I think if they're smart, they should make an announcement <laughs> at E3 that they'll have this available for the holiday season. That shit would sell. You know it you know it but i'm just like wow i'm i'm blown away by it i i've never been one for console skins or whatever that is but man that is very nice shin raven what are your thoughts on this xbox console uh that i it, think it honestly looks yeah i'll film uh, yeah it, it, it looks great um i'm questioning though like the front like uh, with the core is that leds or is it actual fan i i don't know I think it's LEDs. I That's, don't think. <laughs> you don't think it's fan there. Because the fans are up in the front, as opposed to on right, on right. the side of the system. So I'm pretty sure, like the whole cooling, um, you know, the, how they had the bypass, like a regular PC, they probably just redid it to and and you know tunneled it to the front. So yeah, I'm, I'm thinking. I mean, I want that system like bad, but you know, it's it's. Man, they, they got to really pump out something. Because here's another thing, too. You know, wh when is the next Marvel game coming out? You know, that, that's really going yeah, to help that justify. Thing. Is this something that's specifically for, like, an Iron Man game coming out? Like, what was the purpose of them putting this I think it was out, just a promotional you know, piece. Just a thing. Okay. Yeah, but, then, yeah. Is it definitely, like, a, like, done by Microsoft? Not done by Microsoft, but, or, like, is it... Um, is it like third party? I, well, that Come we on. don't know. It, it, it's from the. Well, actually, it was a legitimate. I think it's, it's even a mod. Yeah, go ahead. No, I think it's done by Microsoft because it's being advertised it? okay. by Microsoft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna oh, say. Oh, okay, okay. 
But man, Fair enough. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Honestly, I'm, this this makes I mean, you look like a regular. Like it looks amazing. Yeah. I, I, you can't it, look it at looks that. Amazing it, and everything, but like. <laughs> yeah. Go, go ahead. ahead. No, my bad. I guess there's all a right, delay. Right, okay, so okay. yeah, there's a delay. Go yeah, ahead. there's a little bit of a delay. So. So anyway, like it looks great and everything like that, but for me, like to get a console, I just usually want the stock console and everything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to pay anything extra just for aesthetics. If it's practical, that's a different story. I would definitely go for something more practical, uh -huh. something that would play uh, or perform better. You know, like that's yeah, that's that the makes I'm more that makes sense. But damn, that that is attractive. Bro. <laughs> that is attractive. All right. Oh yeah, so, I agree. All right, Shin Takuma, what are your thoughts, man? Man, you know what? I think Microsoft is really stupid because there's a lot of people out here with creative and innovative ideas, and they should be hiring to make systems like this. They only make one general system of a color, like black or white, something like that. Dude, get somebody on your team that's going to make systems like this or multicolor fashion, something like that. Yeah, you, you got some like, talented folks who do that. You got, yeah. You got some talented folks out here who are doing stuff like this. And I know Microsoft was like, well, damn, if we would have did that in time for freaking Avengers 3, we could have made a little bit of money something like that. But y'all didn't. So it's nice. I mean, I'll probably with something like, if I had the money for it, then if I can find it, I'll probably buy it. If that's, I had the money for it. That's going to be a long time then. Yeah, buy right buy, but it's like what they did with the, like, <laughs> with the PS4. Shut up. Like it did with the PS4, the, um, Metal Gear Solid um, Limited Edition. And now the new Charted Limited Edition, which I was like really interested in. It's like, okay, I'm like, Y'all got some creative ideas. If y'all do more like this, stop putting out the regular basic console in black and, you know, later on like a limited edition. Make multicolored systems. So that way yeah. people got a choice like, hey, I have this PS4, but I like this blue, I got this silver, or I have this camo paint. You know, mix your sh up. This well, 2016. So Well, a company yeah. has done that already and it yeah. didn't didn't work out. Oh yeah, know? yeah, yeah. I think I know Nintendo sixty four, man, came in like Eight I colors. I love that. So yeah, I, I that was it. cool. Give I people mean, options, bro. That, I, I think mean, that was it cool. looked nice, but you, you're spending all this money on different color shells, and people ain't gonna buy. Like people may not. People, Man, like, people you know may what? buy like the. You can the, hire a freaking like twenty of the people fish out back and spray paint. Shh. I think that was a product of the times because that was back in the 90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I know the GameCube controllers, well, they had all the different colors and everything. People did collect all different colors, but maybe it's a controller versus a console, then yeah, I, I could get that. Yeah. Uh, the price is much more reasonable. But, but yeah, there I, are collectors out there. Yeah, but I have to say, this is the best, like, console like style. Upgrade or well upgrade in terms of looks I've ever seen ever seen you know, what I mean and that's just I mean I'm sure if they did a ps4 like this with the same you know I, that, that would look great I just because of the theme the Iron Man reactor. I think that really has me like You know uh, mesmerized right now. It's some some nice stuff. I think old ps4 they have the Taco Bell special day something like that. I mean, you know yeah, I'm hungry. I gotta Why go. I gotta go get breakfast after this. Dang. All right. Taco smell. Yeah, me too. All right. And uh, last but not least, uh, Nelson, what are your thoughts on this console uh, shell or you know this extremely rare um, uh, you know edition of the Xbox One? Well, here's the thing that I don't like about. It. I know it looks nice and all, but it's not anything fancy. Reason mm -hmm. being is because the whole console is not internally changed. You put a plastic case over a white Xbox with a small LED in the front and back. Okay. Anyone could have fucking done that. Second mm -hmm. of all, no one can purchase this because they're only giving it away on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram if you only live in the UK. You do not live in the UK, you will not get this console. That, then and they shouldn't only... have ad they shouldn't have put the ad out like that. Like you it know... doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's Xbox. They don't give a shit. Yeah. But they're only giving away a hundred of these uh, consoles mm -hmm. as well. But it's a cool concept to promote for the Civil War movie. Um, to answer your other question, the reason why it's not in red and the thing like Iron Man because the Stark Industries logo is in white yeah. and in black lettering. So. But it's nice. I mean, we've seen some designs in the past with the 360. We've seen some uh, reskins on the PlayStation, but it doesn't change like the shell. That's the yeah, only yeah. difference between Microsoft and Sony is that when Sony do something, it has like some cool looking art. 
Yeah, but yeah. With the, with the uh, Microsoft side, they changed the whole, um, the whole show, the whole plate. Yeah, they went for the fence on this console. one. Yeah, they they hit a home run with this design. Oh, but, oh. I just hope that in the future they will do more themed consoles for certain games that are like AAA titles or. You know, certain movie promotions that's at a reasonable price because, again, they could have sold this to us for three hundred dollars, and mm-hmm. we would have gotten it, or we could have gotten the trade-in thing where, like, are right, you bring your old Xbox One, you just get this. Okay, okay. No way in fuck they would have sold this to us for three hundred dollars. <laughs> but the thing but is, it's it, nothing. It, it's right. nothing different. Yeah, it's just uh, unless exactly. it's, 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 nothing, it's nothing different. But we know how they are, bro. Like just because of the fact that it's different, and just like you said, they changed the whole shell. Yeah. There's no mm-hmm. way in hell they know they could they can get away with. No, that. the only way they can justify that, they could, Khalif, they is if they change the internals. Bro, they can get away with selling this for five hundred dollars and guarantee people will buy it. I don't know about that. Microsoft's already in the doghouse, man. And they're in the doghouse. They they would need this to be priced to sell. You know what I mean? And justify it with a solid state hard drive. You know, at least one terabyte minimum. Minimum. That's not going to happen because already you can plug in an external hard drive up to 16 terabytes of external memory. No, no, I get that. I get that. But, you know, it might look nice, but, you know, the smart consumer is going to be like, okay, what is the incentive of getting it? You know what I mean? You you know what I believe, too? You know what I believe, too, which I know is going to be happening? There's going to be some dumbass on eBay that's going to fucking get um, a similar looking plate and be like, yo, I'm selling the plate for your Xbox One. And they'll sell it at like two hundred dollars. But they, it's gonna avoid the warranty because if they have to go and change the top no, like that, no, Alex, you're, you're not, you're not listening. There's uh, no avoiding the warranty. It's like okay, say like you have a cell phone and you have a cell phone case and it goes over your phone. That's technically what this is. It's it, it goes over the entire console and it's a small LED on the the back of this little pop up case. Mm-hmm. But nothing Nelson, really the, changing. The, the 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 difference with that. Look at the placement of the vents. That looks completely different from what we have. But that's not a, a vent that's like um, being in use. I'm telling you, if you look at it from a certain angle, it's just a snap snap. I, I, I don't know about that because I've opened several consoles and to looking at this the reason why I'm like in all of it because it looks like you know when you have like the heat sinks and um, the, the <coughs> tubing where you have the fans in your computers you mm-hmm. know if you're changing stuff you might have to just change the system uh, with it like you know the whole routing of the air there's no right. way What's that this air? one shares the same uh, you know the, the same thing as its its predecessor right now you well, know because I'm looking at it from the side the vents are still the same that looks exactly like a snap off thing especially if you look at it from the angle where you see the power button yeah and stuff like that you see that little as opening gap that it has where the dish tray is at and where the power button yeah is. I'm looking at the video I now I'm gonna pause I it. can just pull that shit open and the whole thing will come off I guarantee I don't know that. about that. Uh, you know what? I mean, we have to take a further look at at the internals because I'm looking at the video now and I'm trying to pause it. All right, you said that it's by the power button, right? Yeah, yeah. So you see where you see the front plate of the console where it shows the controller floating in mid air in the middle, right? Oh man, I and can't see And you see the dish it. tray, and then the power button. It looks like from the left hand side, I can just literally pry it open and the whole shit will come out. Yeah, I think I'm it is indeed you. a shell, but I think that they rerouted the air differently because I'm looking at my X1 right now, right? Where you see the X button on the right, the fan is on the right side of the console. So it's like blowing out on the upper right. Here, it, lo- it looks like it's on the bottom front. No, you know what I mean? but what I'm trying to tell you is it's just for like cosmetic. It, there's nothing going through there. Okay. The vents are still being properly like distorted out from the left and right side of the console as it's intended to. Mm-hmm. I'm t- it, it's just it, to me, it just looks like a really fake plasticky looking shell that they just clamped on. Because I had a 360 that did the exact same thing. I just clamped the clear case LED mm-hmm. over my 360 and it had the, the thing where it would just make like random Christmas lights. And I could just pry it open. Mm-hmm. The same shit. 
Okay. You know what? Hopefully we get some more information on that. Because Someone I, buy this, please. Whoever watches this podcast and you get it on as a free raffle or giveaway, just put it on YouTube and just rip the shit open. Or you know what? Matter of <laughs> fact, <laughs> matter yeah, of fact, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, if, if somebody that. were to get it, you know, let's, let's see if we can get them. Well, the going to destroy that. To... Well, yeah, true. Oh, I will. I don't want to tell that shit. I will. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm going to leave that one alone. But... New game in order. This will conclude our topic. If would you get this Xbox Iron Man edition if it became available in uh, mass supply? You know, well, leave your thoughts below. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on newgameinorder.com for the latest and greatest gaming news. And we are almost at 2,000 subs. You know, we're at the, like I think we're 38. Uh, 30, 38. Yeah, we're 38 uh, uh, subscribers off. So tell your friends about us. You know, check us out on Friday Night Fights. You know, shout out to Full Screen, our partner. And stay tuned for those who are watching live on Twitch. Uh, it's twitch.com forward slash new gaming order. Uh, spread the words to your friends. And uh, we're going to go into intermission. And for our YouTube folks, we'll see you on the next segment. Peace. Alrighty. That, I, I want that system, bro. That sh that should look nice. Nah, we're gonna get it. Nah, we're gonna get it. Nah, really, nah, really, nah, really, nah. really. <laughs> oh my God, he gonna do he gonna do me like this? Boop, right. boop, boop, boop. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like this. Yo, that's messed up. Yo, that's Alex, really quick though. I don't know if uh, like I'm I'm experiencing it too. Um, someone chat was saying that it's like jittery stream. What this? Uh, yeah, I don't know if. Uh, Anyone else is getting I, I'm experiencing uh, no getting Yeah, no all they gotta do right is refresh because I'm watching it off of my phone. It's running flawless. Okay, here, okay. here's the issue. If you're watching on your even, phone, even, yeah. if you're watching on your phone and you didn't calibrate the settings where you're putting it on source, it will stutter because it's always on uh, mobile. Yeah, it yeah. Will stutter. You can't. Uh, you can another, change the source though. Yes, yes you can. If yeah. you're on your phone, it says unless, auto. Unless source. you have a hundred viewers. No, no, no. Listen to me. When you're not partnership, if you're on a phone, it's automatically set on auto quality. If you hit the gear cog, you'll only have two options, auto and source. Okay. And then you click gotcha. source, it'll be to like whatever the, the Twitch uh, streamer is broadcasting at. All the reason it may be stuttering is because you were doing too much, your bandwidth is being overtaken by something else, mm -hmm. and you cut back on something, or you just might have shitty internet. <laughs> so, it's, it's one of the other. Alright, so we're gonna get started with the next topic. Yo, Alex, man, I gotta dip out. I'm being called into work. It sucks being on call. Alright, no problem, man. But thanks for joining, man. It's all good. Alright, man, take it easy, guys. Alright, dude. Alrighty, so with that, we're gonna start up in 3, 2, 1. We live, we back, and hitting you with the head crush. New Game and Order podcast. Thank you for joining us live. For those who are watching on twitch.com forward slash new gaming order. Um, we are in segment number two for those who are watching on YouTube. And we're going straight through for our live audience. So with that, we are going to go right back into the show production. And why did it do that? So bear with me, my chat layer is all effed up. <laughs> so he, let me make sure this is good. But the topic that we're hitting up now, uh, many of you know that I criticize PlayStation uh, Now for the longest, right? So apparently Microsoft is trying to follow suit. So they're, they're experimenting with a um, service that's going to rival PlayStation Now. And I think that it's their answer to try and um, work around the uh, backwards compatibility limitations on the Xbox One or the, the, the struggles. So uh, the news comes from CinemaBlend.com and uh, Microsoft is texting Xbox One, Xbox 360 game streaming and could comp compete with PS Now. now the, I see benefits where if it will ensure 100% backwards compatibility from games that you already own. You know, the way that they can outdo Sony with this is not charging you for games that you already own. If, if, if I wanted to stream the Xbox Live games, 
without having to put storage onto my system you know that's fine you know but the only reason why I criticize PlayStation now is the fact that you cannot be grandfathered with the games that you already own they should have given you a voucher to say hey I have this game you know let me stream this game for free I physically own it you know so Sony caught up in their own arrogance as, as usual but if Microsoft does do something similar to PlayStation now for 360 games and possibly Xbox original games could that work you know so with that being said um, opening the floor with um, NGO Khalif you know what are your thoughts do you think that they can uh, get away with that um, well I mean just like you said man if they they could get a leg up on Sony if they were to grandfather you in the games that you all know but you know I we don't know if they're gonna do that but it, um, really if they do it would be great but if they don't like I said you might as well stick with backwards compatibility I honestly thought that that was the whole point of backwards compatibility so that they don't have to deal with this yeah unless they're doing some way to where you can be on if they put it on TVs or you know if they just have it as an app you know where you can you know, okay do it you can stream on any device any Windows device uh, then maybe that'd be cool but I mean as far as I was concerned backwards compatibility is every way shape or form better yeah playstation now on the xbox one because it's not streaming that's the whole thing once you once you start the streaming mm -hmm. that's when this shit gets kind of fuzzy you know and if, if they were to make it to you know where like they have now backwards compatibility yeah it's all around better than streaming so i, I honestly don't know what would be the point of doing this like i said unless they were putting it on more devices to where they, they put xbox games in more hands and you know what i you just hit the nail right on the head i think that they're trying to for those of us who have the disc they you know phil spencer said on that e3 stage when they announced backwards compatibility if you have the game it will eventually be backwards compatible so you still have value in your game but for new customers trying to bring them into the fold i think that that's what the market is being tailored for it's it's for that audience to get more people introduced to some of the the franchises that ordinarily wouldn't have given it a chance so to speak since they're either already firmly established on playstation or pc you know but yeah. i mean that you made a, an excellent point there and i think that's what they're trying to do but um let me give the floor to Playboy. What are your thoughts on Microsoft trying or uh, testing with the the uh, Azure or their cloud sir, uh, their cloud computing? If they're going to start, you know, opening up Xbox games on a streaming level, you know, like Kasumi made a good point on different devices. If I can use my 4K TV, and and I already see PlayStation now on my Samsung 4K, right? Microsoft can follow suit. What are your thoughts, um, Playboy? Well, they have to go with the trend of technology. I mean, this is something that their competitors can beat them upside the head with. Because as, as streaming, Twitch, Hitbox, YouTube Gaming, gains in popularity, a.k.a. makes more money. Yeah. You know, you know they're, they're losing out on a potential revenue stream. And mm -hmm. no business wants to do that. So, mm -hmm. yeah, they need to... Um, they need to get it together mm -hmm. quick okay no. yeah adapt or die and that's something that nintendo does not do because they be getting themselves bent over like in blood and bone michael jai white movie in the beginning of uh oh the, shit you had to say oh my god my uh, Lord, but you know what i wanted to point out a couple <laughs> of things um earlier in the year microsoft also showcased how physic physics processing can be offloaded to the cloud so you know, with that being said, um, I read that from this segment or this excerpt. It looks like, you know, they're trying to really push this thing. But again, reliable internet and a constant connection will be required to use the full benefits of this. Number one. And Crackdown will be the first of, of many games to come that will, you know, um, help boost, you know, the, the Xbox One itself. And then just Windows in general. You know what I mean? Because if this Azure is supposed to be as, as big and bad as they say, the possibilities are limitless. Imagine limitless processing power and being able to stream stuff as opposed to going through the painstake of making backwards compatible disk. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it, it 
remains to be seen. If done right, I think this will be a good thing. You know, but let me get Shin Raven. What are your thoughts on Microsoft considering test on this? Because there's something they're showing Halo 4 running in the cloud on various devices at a company level meeting. Uh, so, hmm. If they already have a proof of I concept mean, at Halo yeah. 4 already streaming at a company level thing, you know, that means it's it's all but but done. Your thoughts? I mean, what's already been said, that's the only thing I think of right now. Um, absolutely, I would love to see a service where I can play my old games and everything like that. If there's a, re a, a reasonable price, I'm one for it, you know. Um, if you already own the game and they can make it free, great. How are they going to prove that you own the physical copy, though? That's what I want to see happen. I don't know that if that's possible. Well, they've like, been doing they it. The voucher. Here's the thing: like, if you if you have the disc, here's what's my. What's going to stop people going to you know like the the, the like like go, going to like a I don't know like a GameStop or whatnot, buying a bunch of games, registering it, and then returning it back? Yeah, you know? like that's gonna that's gonna eat them. Your in Xbox ass. Live account. Yeah, yeah, because I know what it does now. Where the games that I owned, I put them in, and it downloaded it to the system and then hey you know what it is what it is has it okay you know and then once but like what what's what stops you or what stops me from borrowing said game physical copy putting into my xbox mm -hmm. or xbox 360 and then proving that that's my copy well or, I, it's, it's even, the even, drm even worse even worse what if it's something where like i bought a used copy and that key's already registered to another xbox 360 I'm kind of screwed, you know? Well, I I'm not going to find... It's going to be hard for me to find a brand new unopened copy. Mm -hmm. You know, with that, it's like, okay, I believe... Th this was answered uh, many podcasts ago, but I'm trying to rack my brain with it. I know if you own the disc, or just like the Xbox Live Arcade games, it it's tied to your account. So, like, if you run and, and like, okay, I want to play my Live Arcade game, you can play a portion of it. You know, if it, if you're logged on as somebody else, but once I my profile is logged in to the system, then it'll give mm -hmm. me access to it. So when you with the backwards compatibility, literally when you put the disc into the Xbox One, it downloads the Xbox One compatible version. You know what I mean? And then mm -hmm. you, you don't really right, need right. the disc. But I'm pretty sure that there's yeah, that some th 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 there's some way that they check. Some that there's like okay, you know what this serial number da 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 whatever is tied to this person's yeah, account this or whatever. From a friend. Yeah. Right. Now, if you, you uh, give it to a friend or something, I would think that they say, hey, you know what, you can you know play this game in trial mode, but if you want the full version, you have to purchase it. You know what I mean? Because now you can purchase 360 games on the X1 dashboard. You know what I mean? Correct. So yeah, I'm sure there's a way around it. You know. Um, but you see, I, I usually have my notes with those types of questions, but we had answered that with, mm -hmm. I think Noop was on the show uh, when we were talking about that, but that's a good question, you know, and those who are watching live and uh, who will watch this on YouTube, leave your comments on what you think would be a pro proper workaround solution, because I'm sure hackers are going to find something to exploit that, you know, but... With that being said, right. let, let me um, give Shin Tacoma one, one, one more One more thing also. Okay. Yeah. Let me just get one more in. Yeah, go ahead. If it's not a topic that like uh, that hasn't been brought up yet, um, Xbox One servers. Uh, will I be able to play Phantom Dust online again? If that be the case, that I can play that. You, that compatible is a on good Xbox One. question. Good question. Good question. We we all know it's no secret that the original X One servers kind of went down, and you can't really play those games online anymore. But I'm sure it, if they have, with the demand, they probably could bring them back because, you know, 360 games aren't going anywhere because of the backwards compatibility, you know? So when they were telling, you know, the rumors on Twitter, when they were saying Phil Spencer, oh, yeah, they're going to shut down 360 servers. That, how is that possible if you're still playing online games from 360 Correct. on the Xbox One? You defeated the purpose of backwards compatibility, so I'm sure that there should be a plan in place to, re, you know, provide support for those games or something that a workaround with it. But 
the hell like phantom dust yeah, so. yeah. man I, I would definitely buy that again <laughs> i don't know where my disc <laughs> is but it was good stuff i still have my copy excellent, oh, yeah. excellent. <laughs> all right so shin takuma so let you borrow it. <laughs> it you know what i might have to take my motorcycle out to your area and say hey you know what <laughs> Hell, I'll probably get home in like a couple hours with the speed that I go. But um, Takuma, yeah, right. <laughs> Takuma, what are your thoughts on a possible rival to PlayStation Now uh, with Microsoft? Do you think that's a good, bad, or ugly I, thing? I think it would get them back into the games. So, you know, everybody's saying they're losing, and everybody saying, "Oh, PS4 is a master race." That's what not. I think it would. Yeah, I think it, it'd be a good move. But probably get back on a competitive level with. PS4. So yeah. if they do do a backwards compatibility of the Xbox 360 games and everything else, I think um, it would bring a lot more attention back to their consoles. Well, they still have a lot of work to do. You know what I mean? I know it's a lot of work, but if they actually sat down and strategically did this, it would get them back to the game. I would just say this. The one thing that they can do to outdo PlayStation now, if you already own the game and you're streaming it, maybe have the disc in there while you're streaming it to make sure that it's properly being checked. You know what I mean? This way they can mitigate some of the concerns that Shin Raven brought up. You know? But it remains to be seen. I want to play my Ninja Gaiden series from uh, Itatagi, you know? Uh, Ninja Gaiden Black, Ninja Gaiden 2. You know, I got my disc sitting here. I'm waiting for the backwards compatibility. But what the way that Microsoft is rolling it out now is taking too long. You know what I'm saying? So this remains to be seen. But does that conclude your thoughts? Yeah, that's it. That's it for me. All right, Nelson. Last but not least, what are your thoughts on uh, Microsoft considering this avenue of approach to game streaming, backwards compatibility? Will it affect backwards compatibility? And what are some things that they could do to make sure that it's an, a success if they do it? Well, one thing that I very strongly disagree is they should not do the streaming thing through a web browser as they intended to, to have. That's Oof. really stupid of them to do. Mm -hmm. And this is something that takes way more than a couple of gigs just to throw on the game at a at a regular speed what i would recommend is that they continue their process of doing everything on the console first make sure everything is at a hundred percent and then attempt to do the the whole streaming thing for people who don't have none of these games or didn't purchase it or may never will and mm -hmm. they want to do a renting service then yeah then they can attempt to do a streaming uh version of it but i would do something where like the PlayStation did where they had PS TV where it's like a little tiny little box mm -hmm. and you can technically play your like your Vita games and Vita. Your, um, PlayStation 1 or even PlayStation 2 games on it while streaming on it. So you should be able to do the same thing with uh, the Xbox. Like mm -hmm. you should just do it like that. Don't do it through a, a web browser because again that's going to take up a lot of CPU usage. You would need a ridiculously strong computer just to play a fucking game. Yeah. And it would defeat the purpose of it going out for the casual consumer. Mm hmm Okay. So, uh, it, it's like, it's a 50-50 it's a thing with me. But hopefully they just continue uh, making the process easier on the Xbox One to have, like, hopefully 100% backwards compatibility. Mm -hmm. And even to the extent if they do um, bring back out original uh, Xbox games, we want, like, online compatibility with the... Uh, with the games as well, like you know, uh, Phantom Dust mm -hmm. or um, classic uh, Street Fighter. Uh, what you call it? I think it was called like Street Fighter Collections, where you had a Hyper Street Fighter Two. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Strike on it. Yeah. Uh, Samurai Showdown Five, SVC Chaos, Capcom vs. SNK Two, EO, mm -hmm. all that shit. I want to be able to relive all that. Otogi. Yeah, oh my god, Otogi, my good goodness, that the one and two, freaking awesome, bro. Yeah, it was a really strong game, so mm -hmm. hopefully that can happen. But. but you know what, again, this is just like, they're testing it, and it could re remain in the limbo that, I, you know, as you guys were talking, I was reading the article, and, you know, they, there's a couple of hurdles that could be holding things up, trademark, licensing, that held up uh, GTA Vice City. 
you know uh, a lot of things again it's it's wishful thinking but again they made a good point in the cinema blend article that you know the drawbacks was the pricing the pricing killed ps now for me because there was a lot of stuff that i would have honestly i would be playing my ps4 more if i knew that the pricing wasn't just so like predatory man it just come on sony you had a great idea wonderful idea but poorly executed you know what i mean and to justify all oh, we have to maintain this 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 and that if you fucking own it don't charge for it again sorry well, the whole purpose is is that the reason why they made the playstation now is for two reasons one is to get casual consumers to pick up uh the console or if you have uh any type of sony product whether it's a sony tv whether if it's a smart tv because mine's i have the you have the same tv as i do mm -hmm. and if you look on it carefully it offers the playstation i know i was talking on, about that on the mm -hmm. television and there's a lot of people that i know personally that have that streaming service but for a year that price is a little bit absurd 200 and something dollars a year to only have accessibility to maybe half of the catalog of ps3 and ps2 that's nothing like give me the entire catalog and i'll be like okay that's worth it yeah 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 because you have a library yes of, you know what i mean think of it netflix style like okay hey and even netflix is is priced better and you have access to more in yeah. terms of what they're, they're, they're trying to sell you know yes. but i i just uh, but if that concludes anybody has any alibis before we go into intermission yes i don't think they do because uh playboy left because he's going to asia all right all right and then um yeah. shout out to demizel he had to dip off uh during the first intermission but i'm pretty sure when he sees this video and i'll put that on free play mode so that uh his audience can actually weigh in on this so um, going into intermission, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Check us out on NewGamingOrder.com for the latest and greatest gaming news. And we will see you on the next segment. Shout out to Full Screen, who is our partner. And, uh, you know, again, free play mode, New Gaming Order. Check us out. And shout out to Thumb Thrasher Gaming, which is also a spinoff of New Gaming Order. So, um, to Mr. Noop, we miss you, bro. We'll see you in a bit. Peace. That was a good tech segment. I like that one. That was fun. Yeah. yeah. No, that was because my thing on like mm -hmm. backwards compatibility is I'm lazy. I don't want to plug in my other consoles. But if it's going to cost me more, then I'm going to definitely keep my older consoles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, mm. is it? Do I feel it's going to beat out sales on PlayStation Four or anything like that? Probably not. No one's going to play. No one's really going to be sold on a console that says oh we can play old games again no yeah. I, I don't think for probably you and i who have like a large library and yeah and are lazy for, for the new market consoles, they don't know why yeah right right yeah. but no one's gonna fucking buy a playstation 4 or, or uh xbox one for the sole service of backwards compatibility yeah i agree i agree so i mean I, I don't think that they know how good the older games were, you know what I mean? So, it's all no, good. No. But, yeah. Nelson, um, Agreed. the Killer Instinct modding, do you want to lead that segment? I mean, it's... it's or more, more like, like a, a PSA, big, right? Yeah, it's more like a PSA. That's not really a, a whole big thing of a segment. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, what, let's not... see, what else is there to talk about? Uh, mm, that's a PSA. That's a PSA. That's a PSA. Well, how about uh, this? We'll just go into PSAs and you just lead this part. You know what I mean? Uh, and all right, yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine. Because this yeah. way we'll probably be done in record time for a change. <laughs> yeah. All right. So <laughs> we're gonna start in three, two, one. Pimp smack your ass, bitch! It's the Juggernaut baby coming at you, Alex Lexus. Final segment of the day, going into weekly PSA wrap ups for gaming news. So. Being that it was a little light this week on um, game topic news, I know Nelson was is gonna lead this portion, but I wanted to get my PSA out of the way first, uh, just in case it turns into a topic. But um, Nintendo, 
apparently there's news stating that uh, the NX has a release date uh, let me go into discord and pull that up Nelson did you see that uh, Nintendo supposedly March 2017 oh, it, yeah it's all over YouTube and, all right, um, uh, yeah I'm not gonna like send right a video now. on it yeah I'm gonna pull that up right now um, damn yeah, I gotta get used to the new setup since discord is on the app Alright, uh, here's my thing with that. Nintendo NX 2017 March release. The bad thing about that, the timing is no good. No good, no good. You want to know why? If you release any sort of console, do it before the holiday. What are they going to hope to sell in the spring? Okay. Well, they have a lot of games that they're withholding that they're supposed to come off of the Wii U, and they're just making it graphically better for the NX and adding more features. I can understand the reason why, because they have yet to construct the console, so it makes no sense for them to release it before holiday season. If that's the case, then we're going to have a fucked up system, just like in the past when the PS3 first launched, it was a fucked up system, and then they had to sit there for like a couple years just to fix the shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, well make the same mistake. Well, the news is coming from uh, designtrend.com, and I just want to... I, it, to me, it just doesn't seem like a logical strategy in terms of... Okay, you we are, all know the consoles have had a history of being launched and having bugs, and they fix it over time. Why, why are they trying to go away from that philosophy now? Next, March... I mean, you're going to be coming in at the ass end of the fiscal year for console gaming, right? And all these kids are going to have their bellies full from Xbox and PlayStation uh, content uh, from Christmas. You think that March is going to be a prime time to release a console? No! That's not. That's just no, how... For, for Nintendo fans, it's actually not a, a care in the world because... They know that the Nintendo Wii U did really bad and not many units were sold for that. The only thing that's still very strong in the market today is their 3DS. And um, for them to do this now, they don't really have a, f a fiasco year uh, point like the Microsoft and Sony does. Microsoft and Sony is on the same exact uh, bracket when it comes to their yearly end quota. Okay. Nintendo is on its own quota mm -hmm. because they barely... Um, follow suit in the same process of like okay we're gonna do bugs and fix everything whatever nintendo is probably still one of the only companies that can take as long as it needs to and release a console or a game mm -hmm. it can actually do that because as you notice it only does first party games it hasn't been doing third party games since the the, mm -hmm. the, the gamecube i would say yeah and, you know they have really no care plus there's a new ceo in charge now so they might take a new uh, directional route. So that's why they're probably taking a longer time to mm -hmm. be like, okay, let's see what companies can help us out. Let's mm -hmm. see what games can be produced. And then we'll build the console structure based on which companies are joining up with us. Okay, but according to this um, report from Design Trend, Nintendo has always released consoles around the holiday season. With the exception of the SNES, which launched in August of one year uh, of the year that it, it launched so when uh given the uh, you know reading the article given that pattern it doesn't make sense for nintendo nx to come out in march this seems even more true considering that the nintendo audience is generally younger why intentionally miss the most popular time of the year for parents to buy expensive electronics for their kids i'm not the only one that the article says it right here it, it, it's it's strange that they would do that but again maybe they're trying to make sure that they pass the the rush they probably don't want to get um tomb raider they don't want cop they don't want self-conflict with the other two companies that yeah yeah sense. yeah and then basically tomb raider uh on the xbox one pretty much got drowned out by too many triple a releases and and you know when they came out on the pc did phenomenal you know what I mean? So, also with respect of the console that it was released on, you know, that didn't have like the biggest favor with the uh, the gaming community, you know. But that that's just my concern. I want to see this do well. 
but we'll see. We'll see. But Shin Raven or Kasumi, do you want to weigh in on that? I mean, why do you think it's smart for Nintendo to release in March of 2017 as opposed to a pre-holiday uh, warehouse stocking season? You know, let me start with Khalif. I like it. All right, go for it. Well, honestly, we I think we're current, we're starting to kind of see a turn to where the holiday season, well, I should say the spring is the new holiday season. A lot of shit gets pushed back. Okay. A lot of people buy games. A lot of you know a lot of things get released in February, March, and you know that's that's starting to be the new holiday season now. So they they might be ahead of the curve with doing this you know uh, in March if in, if this in, is in fact when they're going to release it. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, you know, I think no matter what, the NX is going to do what it's going to do. No matter when it comes out, it's smart for them to try to get away from PlayStation mm-hmm. and, and, and Xbox just because of the track record right now. Mm-hmm. So I think that they need their own window, their own, you know, for their own fans to come in and, and, and you know, show what they're worth. So, you know, this, yeah. this might be a smart move for them. Okay. And to add on to that, you know, um, Nelson, Nelson and I are pretty much both right. They wanted their software ready. Bottom line, you know. So I mean, oh man, Nintendo's in a tough spot right now. Or why don't they do Holiday 2017? I mean, at least have everything like for for the prime season, you know. But with that, um, Kasimi, did that conclude your point? Yeah, I'm good. All right, Shin Raven, what are your thoughts? I don't think like a holiday should. De- Definitely determine when a console comes out and everything like that. I mean, like if they're if the console's ready to come out without bugs, it's solid and everything. Mm-hmm. Test it, then so be it. Do it then. I know they're trying to push for the the holidays solely because, yeah, like they're the chances are they're going to sell better that kind of thing. But if they're competing against other AAA titles, like you said earlier, and everything like that. Right now, Nintendo's probably not going to win against Microsoft or Sony. Mm-hmm. So like. If they were to just like offset it and everything like that, where like the the uh, the comedy is like kind of like balanced and everything and not like super saturated and everything, mm-hmm. I think they would do better that way. Okay. Wow. Good point. Good point indeed. All right. And Shin Takuma, what are your thoughts? Man, they need to hurry up and. <laughs> what the I mean, hell? I'm, I'm a, I'm a Nintendo fan. Yeah, he is a Nintendo <laughs> fan. To see them go down like this, and they ain't talking about this new system. I'm like, look, y'all need to hurry up and get this shit out here. No, no, say it, gangster. Sure. Nintendo, hurry your ass up. Waiting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so hurry your ass up. No, I'm still waiting on the next Zelda, man. I'm anxious to see the next Zelda, see how they yeah. play out there. That's what yeah. I'm mean. But it's like, y'all keep like, okay, we all know y'all fell with Nintendo, and y'all still making these failed games as far as in like Star Fox Zero or whatever. This one. I mean, the Zelda. Re-release of uh, the HD version was cool. The Wind Waker, that was okay. Mario Kart is still out there, you know, doing what it do, because you, you got hardcore Mario Kart fans, that's not, but mm-hmm. Nintendo NX, man, y'all better, like, go back to y'all roots and everything else or whatnot, like, y'all used to give us back in the like, early 90s and the, the end of the 2000s, like, it's hey, upsetting. But you know, I, you know what, with that, to, to respond to that, two things for Nintendo to really get their head back in the competitive market with Microsoft and Sony, powerful hardware and third party support, adapt or die Nintendo, this is your last chance, fuck this one up, and going the way of Sega. Just come out for the PS4 and the Xbox One, like, you know, I was like, okay, let's get, like, instead of Zombie Review, let's see if we can get, like, freaking Resident Evil, like, an old edition of Resident Evil or something like that. Or freaking, you know, doom. let's see if we can, mm. I don't know, try to get something, like, some type of, like, multiplayer shit. Let's see if we can Call of Duty for this and the, you know? Well, like, Takuma, you do know the NX as no, it's going to buy an NX to play Call of Duty. Yeah, true. Yeah, I'm just saying. But they're but, saying you know. that the NX is more powerful than the base PS4 model. Well, so, well, I like the way that we see because it's well, it, but why do you think Sony panicked and made the Neo like that? I think that was one part of it, too. They're like, oh, Nintendo's not gonna show us up mm-hmm. and did the Akuma squat and, and pooped out a, a PlayStation 4 Neo. Yeah, I'm still pissed about the freaking um, the PS4 Neo, whatever it is. I'm like, you know, man. but hey, it just remains to be seen. 
It remains yeah. to be seen. But Nelson, I figured that's why I wanted to go first because it turned into its own thing. But anything you got, you guys want to add that you might have forgotten before we split this off from the regular PSA segment? Um, just yeah. Hopefully Nintendo just does well this time with the console because they failed really bad with the Wii U and the 3DS has been doing super fucking good. It's still like the hottest selling thing out there right now and it's over beating consoles. Yeah, the handhelds are awesome. Yeah, the handhelds is just winning, period. Mm -hmm. So hopefully they can redeem themselves this time, take a different, uh, change of direction and hopefully it's a uh, console buyer this time. All right, all right. Okay, new gaming order. We're going to bring this particular PSA slash topic to an end. Make sure you join us for that wrap-up that I gave the intro to. Nelson's going to be leading that segment, and then we're going to wrap up. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on NewGamingOrder.com for the latest and greatest gaming news. And we'll see you on the next segment. Stay tuned. All right, so... You see, I, I, I was thinking, I'm like, this is going to turn into a topic. Let me make sure I, I, I separate it from the main stuff. But the director's cut, those... Oh. Shout, shout out to the Blazing Kiddits, who he loves the director's cut, all the unedited stuff. So giving you a shout out. He's been with the show. He's like ride or die. Like he's been checking us out, and, and we greatly appreciate that type of fanship because it. You know, sometimes I'd be like, man, I, I can't do this no more. And then you got the fans talking about, hey, I love your show. So that that's motivation right there. So nothing. You got the steering wheel. I'll start this off in a couple seconds. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. All right. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the new gaming order PSA segment, which is the, the you know the final end of it all. I'm gonna be talking about a couple things here. Um, first topic that I'll talk about that's a PSA that's on this list is that um. Shinobi is actually having a movie in the works based on the Sega video game. I heard about this uh, a couple years back that they was going to do one. I guess they finally have like the the concept and the story script that they actually want to go towards it. Uh, a lot of people was intending for it to be an animated or 3D render, but it might turn out to be a live action. So hopefully mm. it does well and... Mm. Um, We'll see, I guess. Yeah, they um, should have a game to to go coincide with it. You know what I mean? They could, uh, but again, it's kind of hard. Oh, to every release last of the game. game was good. Yeah, it's kind of hard to release another game when not many ninja games are out there no more. Well, but hey, this would be a good time to bring it back. It would be. I would love to see another Tenchu. Yeah, but, it, oh, hey man, brother. Well, hey, that Shinobi, uh, or the the not the remake, but or that that spinoff future version where you had um, on the PlayStation Two. Yeah, I know. I know. That, what I, I would like to see a sequel to that, but they did have one with but the they girl. Did. It's um with the girl. I can't remember her fucking name. I didn't um, even get to play Night that Shade. one. Nice Shade. Shade. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Yo, can I can I, I put, put it in real quick, real quick and get my PSA out the way? Because this you say he wants to put it in. Oh my goodness, this this okay. that segue is just gonna be nice. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're talking about we're talking about Tenchu and we're talking about uh, Shinobi and all that, bro. If you have a PS4, you need to play fucking Neo. I have been playing this game. It's out. It's the, the demo. The, the demo. The demo. The demo. The demo. Oh, I've, I gotta fire up my PS4. I have. I, this is all I've been playing. This is like Neo. this brings me back to Tenchu. Brings me back to Omni Musha like bloodborne dark souls all that all mixed in together like this is one of the best experiences i've had all year and this is just a demo so i mean yeah. if you own the ps4 you have to play this is only out until i think the fifth because it's a it's a it's a alpha demo they call it, which pisses me off because i don't understand what the fuck that's all about but it is online apparently you can partner up with people online yeah and uh fight these bosses and go through the game but Oh. This is literally all I've been playing. All I've been playing is. All right, I'm taking a look. I'm trying to find some gameplay footage right now. Oh, it's, it? it's it's definitely like I said. It it, it brings me back to Tenchu. And but Ani Tecmo Nishu. Koei, the Ninja Gaiden producers, uh, made the game. So yeah, yeah, it's it's definitely it shows, bro. Like that shit. Like I said this is all I've been playing. I'm addicted. 
Like I'm gonna just play wear this bitch out until the fifth when it when it goes out. But I don't, I don't even know the release date. I'm not sure when the release date is. Oh, I'm that's a definite sure. buy, bro. Oh yeah. I don't I don't even know if it's I think it's coming to PC, but um I don't think it's coming to Xbox. Are you a samurai or ninja? You're basically a samurai ninja dude. Like you know I don't I don't know. This the is like Ninja Gaiden, bro. No, no, it's yeah, the, it Ninja Gaiden and like Oni that. Oni Musha. It's, it's it's not in Ninja Gaiden because it's not nearly as fast. It's not nearly. It's more like Dark Souls and Oni Musha and Omni Musha and Tenchu. I will I would say it's Tenchu like a mix of the three. Of swordplay. Yeah. The sword play, like Tenchu, is is definitely there. You got different stances. Um, it's not just one. You can you can have like your katana, but you have you know three different stances that you can go in and fight out. Oh of. man, that uh, is a confirmed buy for me. I, yeah, I'm looking at also, this. You Ooh. also have to where you can have different spirit animals. So like you can have like my spirit animal is like some kind of wolf or something. So that makes it to where like you know uh, my 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 attacks you know uh, in close range or more, more stronger and all this stuff. It's, it's like different animals give you different perks, and I mean it's it's definitely deep, man. This is this is this is definitely a must buy. Yeah. Like I said, this is the best experience I've had probably in 2016 so far. How come I didn't demo. catch this? It, it, it's been out since the 26, and it's, gonna... it's been out since 26. You've been speaking about Neo for some time. No, I didn't know that the demo was out because I've been busy with my car situation. So now I'm. Well, the demo came out under the radar, and yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Spread out. All right. Definitely did. But and I saw the right. shark spirit thing. I'm telling you, it has Ninja Gaiden and and freaking so Oni Musha like, written all out, over right? it. Just, uh, shark spirit. <laughs> Yo, that, yeah, that, you got you got the different the different spirits are like supers. Like if you if you're like your little gauge goes all the way up, and you can use your spirit animal. Like he and it makes this crazy animation to where oh, your attacks yeah, okay. get like I'm your all, your attacks I'm get sorry. all crazy and shit. And, Man, I'm telling you, this is this is a great, great. Yeah, I, I'm great I'm game. so getting this, bro. This, this is confirmed. All right, thank you, Kasimi. Awesome. I'm I gotta fire up my PS4 right now. Then, all right, good stuff, good stuff. Hell of a PSA, man. What the heck? And that wolf thing that you're talking about was it like a little pet chibi looking dog type nah, thing? No, it looks like a it looks like a little wolf. It almost looks like Okami. Remember that little that? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It that's almost weird. looks like that Okami wolf. It showed the box up there and then said bye. All right, that, that's what's up. Good oh, stuff, Kasimi. That good, good, good PSA, man. I'm like, bro, that that that's oh. beastly right there. All right, all right. That, Nelson, I need more PSA. He's my friend. Yeah, there's like a few more. Um, sorry, I got a little distracted. Something just randomly popped up on my screen. Um, if you guys haven't heard already, every single six months or to close to a year, there's a new Call of Duty game. And a lot of people is excited about this one in particular because, mm -hmm. no, it's not because of the main installment. And that's a surprise to hear. Like, you would think that the main installment of the game will get people hyped. It's not. This is what I'm going to explain now. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. By the name alone, it makes you wonder why is it called Infinite Warfare. So, if you buy the standard edition, which is going to be retail price, whatever, you'll get the game alone. If you buy the pre-order Legacy Edition, it comes with Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. If people don't know what that is, it's Call of Duty 4. And Call of Duty 4 was one of the best Call of Duty games that was ever made. Ever. It's remastered <laughs> he in 60 the, frames, 10 multiplayer 1080p, maps, 10 multiplayer maps, and the full story is going to be redone. So a lot of people is going to be getting this game just for that. Just for that, they're not even going to play the main Infinite Warfare. They're going to toss that shit aside. Don't say that, Nelson. Don't say I that, promise, bro. It's going to happen. I I'm promise. probably going to be one of the guys. You said it about Star Fox, and he was right. So I I don't don't say that because it, here here's the thing. The system of how Call of Duty 4's multiplayer was, was so good. It was so addicting, bro. The maps, they had several maps in there that was just like, this looks amazing. Imagine if it was like re-rendered with better graphics. Uh -huh. Oh my God, dude. Well, trust me, this what's is gonna the price be point? like a console seller. Well, right now they're naming random prices. I know these prices are fake because it says if you pre-order the standard edition is $80, that's bullshit. I tell you that right now, that's bullshit. Okay. So most likely the the Call of Duty Modern Warfare pre-order with the regular game might 
be retailed at like eighty bucks. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's not that bad. But that's again, that's you're not USD like, though. What happened? That's not US. No, no. Like, the, the, he highlighted price... it says US US price sixty. No, but but this price right now is not like United States price. This is like from another state. I yeah, that's what you're saying. Like, like, okay, because yeah, yeah. I, I'm like, sheesh, that, that's a lot of money. No. But it, this is gonna be a console seller due to the fact that you're getting one of the best Call of Duty games ever existing with the infinite warfare no one probably people will look at infinite warfare they'll try out the multiplayer for a bit and then they're gonna jump right back on right the modern warfare. I, 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 you know what i i i'm gonna play devil's advocate they're gonna play the new one too okay not, it, as, much. No. not as much yeah, not as much no here's the thing is this on all consoles or is it is yes this is gonna yeah. be on all consoles <laughs> for the ps4 it's right. gonna be on PC. PC. It's okay. gonna be on Xbox One. It's gonna be on PS4. Bro, this is you know what's gonna happen. This is gonna force them to have because there's only ten multiplayer maps. This is gonna force them to keep remastering those those maps from Modern Warfare One mm -hmm. and keep putting them out because people are gonna be hungry for that shit, bro. This is gonna single handedly put you know Call of Duty back on because they're putting the regular one back you know it's, mm -hmm. that's that's crazy dude. now what's gonna make it interesting because there is another rumor that's again not really surfaced as much yet um I don't know if it's gonna be with the modern warfare bundle no sorry the infinite warfare bundle um if you do get modern warfare remastered they say there's a hint that uh they may re-release and remaster modern warfare 2 i like that well actually i like the original modern warfare that that, that was, was my cool. game that, that this is the one that's re-releasing yeah yeah that was that was my game bro like yeah, when i was in I, I came back well actually before i went to iraq i was playing that game i'm like bro like there was so much that that was it was just perfect right, and that's bro. the game that you're getting that's yeah, why i'm man. saying that no one's gonna play the infinite warfare but they are gonna re-release modern warfare 2 because uh um, what you call it? It wasn't as it's good as the first one, though. Oh no, I think part two was better for the multiplayer yeah. aspect. Okay, multiplayer, yes. The campaign on um, on. No, yeah. yeah. yeah hands down, was better on. That's its difference. But the multiplayer, everyone liked Modern Warfare 2 because it was fast. You can uh, stack different um, streaks on top of each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's right. That was that was the best thing. Like the the kill streaks were at its best on Modern Warfare 2 because it was just enough to where you can, you know, customize it a little bit, but it wasn't too much like it is nowadays. We got 20 damn different kill streaks mm -hmm. that you'll probably never see. Yeah. Now exactly. he, he, let me say this. Sony should be ashamed of themselves for throwing cold water on the cross-platform play thing. This game right here would have benefited so much from that, so much. Well, the thing but is, it's not it's not set in stone, but it may be cross-compatible with uh, PC and Xbox One. That may happen, but with the Sony part, I'm on the PC race. No, I, I want to play. I want everybody to play together at the playground. Let, let's the oh, digital playground. That, that, that's the dream. But again, I have a dream. <laughs> but let's continue on so I can get this over with because I know it's running towards people's schedules. Um, I guess one of the last few PSAs is about Kings of Fighters 14. If everyone hasn't heard about it, yes. it's gotten a massive overhaul. Yes. Massive, massive, massive. Wait, do you have the link in the Discord? It's, it's on Event Hubs. Event Hubs? Event uh, Hubs. Let me, let me go over there. there. Listen. Yeah, all right. Here, here's the thing. Kings of Fighters 14 is going to start out with 50 characters. No DLC. It's going to start at launch with 50 fucking characters. That is a big deal. That is um, nice. I love everything it. Everything is in 3D, like how it was for Maximum Impact for anyone who played it on the PlayStation 2. That was better. fun. Yeah. Um, Whack. You have 31, <laughs> you have 31 <laughs> original characters and 19 brand new, never before seen characters. Um, you also have revamped online experience, which is supposed to be outshining Kings of Fighters 12, Kings of Fighters 13, and Street Fighter 5. Uh, yeah, yeah, Street Fighter Five is kind of it, it's it's. For me. I'm sorry. I, look, if they want to take a, a a blueprint for online fighting lobbies, Guilty Gear XRD, hands down. The well, way that they I have wanted, that set up. 
Yes. I wouldn't want that lobby system because that again that takes up a lot of overhead for the game and it could slow down certain consoles. I would just rather have it so you have like spectator online lobbies and just have a flawless netcode. And the thing that's my selling point, even though I don't speak other languages, they went hard. Okay, they went real hard this time for regular voices and subtitles. They're including English, Japanese, French, Brazilian, Portuguese, Mexican, and Spanish. Voicing <laughs> and subtitles. Wow. That's a big deal, bro. That's, that's a first. That's, that's a first. how the... you make a game. That's a that's big deal. Put some respect on said, it. And they said this yeah. game will be coming out for the Xbox One. PS4 and PC. What? Wait, 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 wait. It's only PS4. No, no, no. It's coming out for every console. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I'm trying to look through this right now. Oh my God. Wait, that part, that part is not on Event Hubs though. But that's like, that's what's gonna happen. Like that, it's coming out for every console. All right. And the release date August 23rd, 2016. Yeah, it's coming out this year. All right, I I want I need that's, confirmation because that's I, how you do a game. Yo, they, five they, out of five. Yo, that's how you do yo, a SNK game. took us fifty characters off the bat. Then you give us new characters. That's how you. That's how you do a game. You know what? Yeah, Thirty-one original, nineteen new. Look, look. That's you know what SNK did? Awesome. They they went and took their name back from Playmore, right? They put some exactly. respect on their name. They put some respect on it. And and and, <laughs> and, and, and they're like all three of y'all. I put some fucking respect on my name. They're trying to become the king of fighters, all right? This is the reason why I was so excited when they announced this game and the direction that it was going in. A lot of people's like, oh, this is going to be whack. It's not like how it was with Kings of Fighters 13. I'm like, okay. You know what? People, I was at first because I was like, oh, they're making a new one. I was like, I was like, ah. when I saw them making more characters, I, I was like, I would in say, there, geese in there, I'm good. I would say Action Raven because he went to PAX, but he didn't get the chance to play it. But I did yeah, get I a up. little. I did get a little <laughs> conversation with uh, Long Island Joe. Mm -hmm. They only had it on pad, and he says it's by far one of the best uh, fighting games he's ever played. Like to the to to this day, like everything is on point. It's um, there's no delay when you're inputting in your moves, and it Ooh. just feels right. It just feels like a good solid fight. It's gonna get Street Fighter Five a good form for its money. If it don't beat it. They don't give a good problem. And plus, it is a three-on-three -three fighting game. You do, you're able to. I think yeah. you're able to switch out your characters too. Yeah, you are. You can hey. do teams, or you can switch out your characters. Yeah. Oh, like uh, uh, because King of Fighters 2002. Yeah, the first one it was just. <laughs> no, 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 no. 2002, I believe, uh, 2003. had uh, 2003. Yeah, it did it like Marvel vs. Capcom 3, yeah, but you had the so. anchor character, and then you had the support characters like. You know, CVS uh, two well, where they no support. There's no, no support, support characters. It's really just you're switching out the character entirely. No, no, that's what I mean. Like, but will they have yeah, assists? That well, I don't I know. Doubt, I doubt they will have assists right now. It just looks like it's just a pure switch out. And for a lot of the old school uh, people who's been wondering, like, oh, is Geese Howard in there? Is yeah, Ron yeah. Howard in there? Is Terry in there? Just you're gonna be very happy. That, that's, Yo, that's all I'm gonna well, say. Well, I saw the effects for some of the like Joe Higashi on the um the hurricanes. They got some yeah, pretty dude. cool ass effects in there. He's Howard is gonna be nasty. Did you see his trailer? Cause he yeah, yeah. he stopped and everything. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> but as, oh, they got a story uh, mode. Like uh, what the heck? a lot of people are also excited about this because the fluidness that this yeah. plays like. Is rivals from Kings of Fighters '98 and um, from 2001. The yeah. fluidness, so all your moves will chain up instantly. There's no, oh, why is this thing looking like um, so stiff and all this other shit and stuff like that. They took very close attention. Mm -hmm. um, also, Alex, from what he's showing on YouTube, you're able to do gallery mode, which is like a nostalgia effect for a lot of uh, yeah. old school people because you get to see all the. Um, the old drawings from the creators you get to see all the comics that they ever made yeah the history the and look it has online training guys yes. online you training be, you can't beat that <laughs> come on now like there's a that. lot of good things that's gonna happen with this game and i can't wait for it to be at next year's evo i i 
Oh my god, yeah. it's gonna be a great game to have. Now, you must know, get this game. I, my thing is the story. Some of these characters shouldn't be in the game. You know, what? like. No, no, no. The story-wise, like it's supposed to, like some people shouldn't be there. Well, again, they're gonna have an explanation for everything because you always know there's always like a the twist dinosaur and turns. was into, like it was like that's Tzok, like, I think. Tzok. That's Tzok. I'm like, is that Tzok from freaking the other four games or this one? I'm like, you know, I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I'm with it. The only thing I'm hyped about is they finally put Kim Maquan. They got his wife in there and his teacher. I'm like, who the hell is that? Yeah, I'm hyped for that. Mm. And, all right. And to finish off my PSA, last but not least, uh, of course, we keep beating this like a dead horse, Street Fighter V. No. They implemented a new update, 3.1, which added Guile, uh, added online stability improvements, and the rage quitting system. Yes. Now, we all speculated to see how this would work. This is how it works. When you lose a match and you disconnect, you do not um, lose points to an extent. If you, for some reason, if the person gets the win and you're about to go in the, you know, like the one win, zero losses crap, mm -hmm. and then they disconnected, then you'll get the points. Oh. From that person. Okay. It takes up to four disconnects for them to be frozen and locked out of online play for three hours. Mm -hmm. Which I feel it's a very bad thing because it's not a punishing system. You're not taking away their points that they earn in ranked. I think you should also take a large sum of their points so they can feel that all that grinding and effort that they put will go to waste. Mm -hmm. I, I would want something stronger, but this is a good start, and hopefully it gets a lot stronger in the future. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm like, ugh. See, well, somebody race quit on me. Ball. Somebody race quit on me in a casual match. I bodied them. Like, we had a close set, and then once I fi uh, downloaded them, figure out how he played, I just, like, went full throttle, and on the last match, he, he dropped. I'm like, dude, it was just casual. Why'd you do that? Like, right. But um, that's what the, that's what's there now, and hopefully it gets better within the next couple of months. Um, I think that's it. All right. Well, I, I can finish up. Uh, also, before we log off for today, Street Fighter Five. Uh, apparently, there's a new way to mod legitimate mods again the disclaimer is everything you pay for your content your characters whatever you do in terms of artwork or mods like it's on existing content so it's it, it, no illegal stuff is happening here but what i'm showing right now is you have alex in his third strike um attire uh skin mod that's now available you also have um the evil ryu mod has returned because now anytime they update the game it kind of fiddled around with the pack files but now there's a way where it does to the pack file uh, writing directly so drag and drop enable the mod and you're off to the runnings so you know um you got dawson street fighter 2 um look which i prefer actually and you have the lara the booty mod but i'm not going to show that stuff on but you, you, you know where this can go, but apparently free play mode was uh, putting some Chun-Li mod out there that I'm not too happy with. Even though she's not my main anymore, I still love Chun-Li. Respect her. Put some respect on her name, alright? So, w with that, New Gaming Order, we're going to bring this show to a close. Thank you guys for checking us out. Thanks to the staff for participating. This was a, a podcast that went without too many hitches, aside from the fact that I'm, I'm doing a whole new format to um, make sure that the Discord, you can actually see who's talking, um, you know, going forward. So make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Nelson, any announcements before we're done for today? Nelson. Nelson? Nelson? Oh, I guess. He's gone. <laughs> Alright, well, check out Friday Night Fights uh, next week. Next week, I have to go to Fort Dix for the range. I have military training, so it will be either be preempted 
or someone will cover down for me so um, that's why we need extra streamers on the days that I have military duty someone can make sure that the show goes on um, also shout out to full screen shout out to golden child images out of Fayetteville North Carolina sergeant former sergeant Anthony Palmer retired uh, a hell of a photographer a good battle buddy of mine from Afghanistan and um, with that that's all I got we out like the juggernaut bitch hitting you wow. with a hyper combo finish head crush see y'all next week peace okay we're still on the director's cut for all of you guys oh wait if you haven't seen this guy will hype what wait a minute <laughs> oh, what's the combo? Yeah, yeah. Somebody, uh, somebody Matter of fact, uh, this that is gonna like be the second oh, day's been out, and I'm just like, get out, yo. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put that for the director's cut. Um, let's see. I'm gonna refresh yeah, this thing. Oh. How are these people figuring this stuff out, man? All right, so. Well, the thing that was that like, if you. And you played Evil Evil Ryu or uh, Sakura. Yeah, it's a similar style of a combo, and he had similar combos like this in uh, SVC Chaos, old school Street Fighter Two, Super Street Fighter Two combos, combo videos, where like they take advantage of um, oh my god, the slowdown the rape, from rape, from Sonic Boom, rape! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Stop! Stop! Oh my gosh, that's too much! <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. Wild. Let me re rerun this combo. Run that back. Wait a minute. <laughs> it's like 32 hits on this. I'm like, he's throwing like multiple yeah. strike bones and he'll freeze and then I'm like, wow, no hey, that's a combo machine. That's Killer Instinct style. That's, that's, that's Killer Instinct. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's a summon taking advantage of like wait a every, minute. every, every, everything. Wait a minute. Yeah, I love it. That's a five insane combos. Alright, let's see. Oh, you're, you're seeing that combo that was invented by uh, Infiltration that everyone started copying? Yeah. I didn't see that one yet. Unless it's the same video. Just, just check, yes. Yeah, 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 that was you doing one. Evil. Do the That's Infiltration okay. one. Of course, infiltration one. Wow. My name is okay. Wind Filtration. Wind Black. Filtration. Black. Yo, okay. Cammy's I getting. Wanna, I wanna see Cammy is getting it. butt raped. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! You, you, you saw the stun on that? You saw the stun on that? Wait a minute. About 50 percent. Oh my gosh! Look but he does another one where he touches six hundred damage. Oh, you know what? Put that in the Discord. Is did it against Cammy? No, no, he did it against Zangief. And, and oh, you know Zangief he has that. Like... But he still has Cammy. I'm like, oh. <laughs> wow. Well, you know what? That's a Director's Cut exclusive. And with that new game in order, we are done. Oh, Wait a minute. Oh, I was still... Okay. We're out. Head crush. Peace.